vast plans a station and money is tight around Mars sample return. This is Tomorrow's Space News. Jed McCaleb, CEO of Vast Space, is grateful, as am I, for their newly announced agreement with SpaceX to launch their Haven 1 commercial orbital habitat. If they are successful, they may launch as early as August of 2025. Tom Ochenero, Senior Vice President of Commercial Business at SpaceX, said, The SpaceX team couldn't be more excited to launch FAST's Haven 1 and support their follow-on human spaceflight missions to the orbiting commercial space station. They plan a Dragon flight with four crew for the inaugural mission. These crew will undergo the same qualification and training for emergencies and contingencies as other Dragon crew. Vast Space is a young company with an impressive bench of talent, having acquired Launcher, a 2017 founded company with some significant flight heritage. Their first station is small enough to fit in a Falcon 9 fairing, so is smaller than what we are used to with the ISS, and that's just what I would expect for the first, the proper minimum viable station without the requirements of a continuously crewed, highly capable national laboratory. Their first missions are closer to Skylab in duration. Practical quarters and workspace in the sky, suitable for four for a month, seems nice. If they can launch their station on one launch and the crew with return capabilities on one more launch, they could demonstrate that we can live and work in space when we want, rather than a decade-long project to assemble enough heavy launches. If this finds a commercial market, the sky is the limit. Next, I talk to you about money and Mars sample return. But first, I am personally and community grateful for our members that support this show. The ground support, suborbital, orbital, Escape Velocity, and Plaid Pro Plus citizens get access to exclusive Discord channels, the members-only live streams, and much more. To see if anything takes your fancy, head to the Join button below. Mars Sample Return is a big, expensive project. It's right at the edge of what we know how to do. A lot is riding on this. So when NASA management sees that they have to pour another quarter billion to keep their chances of success high enough, they have to pull that money from somewhere. Unless, of course, Congress, but uh, we'll get back to that. Alan Stern, the principal investigator of the New Horizons mission that I talked about last week, said, We have a very ambitious planetary program, but there's a point at which it becomes overly ambitious to the extent that it's brittle. It's not resilient to any failures. It seems Alan thinks that the reduced risk for the sample return mission might be at the expense of risk to other missions. Budget pressure from Mars sample return may have contributed to Psyche missing its launch window last fall and the Veritas Venus probe's three-year delay. Casey Dreyer, Space policy nerd at the Planetary Society says, Dare mighty things. And also that the easiest mission to delay is the one that hasn't started yet, referring to Veritas. Thanks for letting me and the team share our interest in space. <laughs>